Mark, chapter 14, verse 63. Then the high priest rent his clothes and saith, What need we any further witnesses? Ye have heard the blasphemy. What think ye? And they all condemned him to be guilty of death. And some began to spit on him and to cover his face and to buffet him and to say to him, Prophecy! And the servants did strike him with the palms of their hands. And as Peter was beneath in the palace, there came one of the maids of the high priest. And when she saw Peter warming himself, she looked upon him and said, And thou also was with Jesus of Nazareth. But he denied, saying, I know not, neither understand I what thou sayest. And he went out into the porch and the hot crew. And the maid saw him again and began to say to them that was stood by, this is one of them. And he denied it again. And a little after, they that stood by said again to Peter, Surely thou art one of them, for thou art a Galilean, and thy speech agreeeth thereunto. And he began to curse and to swear, saying, I know not this man of whom you speak. And the second time the cock crew. And Peter called to mind the word that Jesus said unto him. Before the cock crow twice, thou shalt deny me thrice. And when he thought it thereon, he wept. Chapter 15, verse 3. And straight away in the morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council and bound Jesus and carried him away and delivered him to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, Art thou the king of the Jews? And he said unto him, Thou sayest, and the chief priests accused him of many things, but he answered nothing. And Pilate asked him again, saying, Answerest thou nothing? Behold how many things they witness against thee. But Jesus yet answered nothing. So that Pilate marveled. Now at that feast he released unto them one prisoner, whomsoever they desired. And there was one named Barbas, which lay bound with them that had made insurrection with him, who had committed murder in the insurrection. And the multitude, crying aloud, began to desire him to do as he had ever done unto them. But Pilate answered them, saying, Will you that I release unto you the king of the Jews? For he knew that the chief priest had delivered him for envy. But the chief priests moved the people that he should rather release Barabbas unto them. And Pilate answered and said again unto them, What will ye then 
that I shall do unto him who ye call the king of the Jews. And they cried out again, Crucify him! Then Pilate said unto them, Why? What evil has he done? And they cried out even more exceedingly, Crucify him! And so Pilate willing to consent to the people, released Barabbas to them and delivered Jesus when he had scourged him to be crucified. And the soldiers led him away into the hall called Peritorium and they called together the whole band and they clothed him with purple and a plaited a crown of thorns and put it on his head and they began, and they began to salute him hail king of the jews and they smote him on the head with a reed and did spit upon him and bowing their knees, worshipped him. And when they had mocked him, he took off the purple from him and put his own clothes on him and led him out to crucify him. And they compel one Simon, a Syrian, who passed by, coming out of the country. The father of Alexander and Rufus to bear his cross. And they bring him into a place, Golgotha, which has been interpreted the place of a skull. And they gave him to drink wine mingled with mire, but he received it not. And when they had crucified him, they parted his garments, casting lots upon them, what every man should take. And it was the third hour, and they crucified him. And the superscription of his accusation was written over the king of the Jews. And with him they crucified two thieves, one on his right hand and the other on his left. And the scripture was fulfilled which saith, and he was numbered with the transgressors. And they that passed by rallied on him, wagging their heads, saying, Ah, thou that destroyest the temple and built it in three days, save thyself and come down from the cross. Likewise also the chief priests, mocking, said among themselves with the scribes, Ha, ha, he saved others. Himself he cannot save. Let Christ, the King of Israel, descend now from the cross, that we may see and believe. And they that were crucified with him revealed him. And when the sixth hour was come, there was a darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eloi, Eloi, Lam Shabbat, Thainai, which is interpreted, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me?